I want to show you how uh, I use uh, Jupyter Lab, that is a great program to use a great editor, let's call it so. You can create a notebook in which you can use um, Python into some sort of cells where each cell got a part, some pro a program or a part of a program and so on. I want to show you that I created a jupyterlab.runpy here in my um, folder here where I got that I call Jupyter and I got some of my uh, projects here. Uh, you know that you got to open uh, Jupyter into um, a folder to to use the the, the the notebook that you get inside with images and so on. You just can do this. You can go into the address here and do uh, write CMD and then here you're gonna do Jupyter Jupyter Lab right and then press enter and it will uh, uh, open um, into the browser because uh, Jupyter no Notebook opens into the browser but um, maybe you want to automate this because we got Python right so let's um, let me open this uh, this uh, the program that I made Jupyter Lab dot Jupyter Lab run to make it start uh, right clicking on it. <coughs> so in this uh, file, I just write import OS and OS system Jupyter Lab. Okay, I gave the CMD. Um, command through Python so I could have done also a bat file but I wanted to batch file but I wanted to use Python so then what I did so when I run this it will start automatically without having to write uh, Jupyter Lab on the CMD but I don't as I don't want to go into the folder, each time I've just uh, made uh, a link to on desktop. Uh, so I send it to desktop, and there it is, our link to. Um, and let's. Okay, I don't need this. Okay, Jupyter Lab Run, let's call it so. And so. Each time I want to go into this from desktop, and I don't have to go in the console and run the CMD and print, print, uh, and uh, digit anything. I just go like this. I print it, and it opens. There it is. Uh, now, just I wanna to see why uh, Jupyter Lab is so good for many things. Um, it's good. Uh, First of all, to use when I use it a lot to make the uh, to use peel as as a library, the the Python image library, because when you create an image or something um, like that, and you wanna see it, you just can, uh, for example, you create a new image like in this, and um, then you can save it, but you can always not save it, and you just go. Uh, let's say that e this e here is the image um, you see it if I delete this you won't see anything but if I just press E that is the object that I created you will see the uh, the image so when you go here uh, somewhere and change and change something okay you will see immediately uh, what you what it's the effect of this change here okay you see there is just this change and it's immediate so um, when you are trying something you want to see what what this effect etc you go like this so and I'm using it um, to make the cover of my post and my YouTube you see here I got different um, other images that I processed with uh, with peel just for just to see how they look like and uh, Sometimes I have used them. Here is you can see the the script that I use it for the my latest cover here. And so, for example, here I can uh, you see if I change a parameter here, you will see that it will change. 
Okay, this changed me also because I changed the image, but you see here is the blur. It goes from zero to one, and I go want to see what is the what is the best one to do this. I want to change here the image, and uh, you see the image are here. This is uh, you can see in Jupyter Lab um, the files in uh, in a directory that you are, so that you can make. Okay, this there is no this file because it's a JPEG. Okay, so you can see the changes as you do them. Put some blur and there is some blur effect. Okay, um, so this is why I use uh, the Jupyter Notebook a lot. I um, rediscovered it lately and you can see all the image that you get in this folder for example I made this little script here where you can see importing from iPad and display um, display an HTML uh, you can for example uh, go and check for all the image in uh, in the directory the actual directory and then uh, um, display them and so display them and with also I I put uh, for every image in this PNG list uh, the list I I have taken the list with uh, with glob there is no import glob here because I imported here before so uh, you can use this, uh, these cells in a way that are linked to the other or alone. And um, here it is with this display HTML and with uh, some um, HTML code here, you can use HTML into the notebook. So you see here that are, you can see all the image that are in this directory with the, this little script. And, uh, <coughs> and that's why I find um, Jupyter Lab uh, very useful, and another way that another um, thing that makes me appreciate uh, Jupyter Lab is that, as you can see, you can have these uh, files with uh, with other files in other cells, and you can have a different version of the same uh, of the code for other purposes on the same notebook so that you can uh, see which what is the best effect okay here for example to see the image just print emg here and you can see the effect and now you can see another one and that's all so for example uh, i repeat i used um, jupiter not lab for my uh, pill, uh, uh, the use of pill uh, to manipulate image, and I got different file. For example, in uh, here, this file here that I called Cover Maker, I make um, this composition here for my covers. But I got also another one in which I prepare the background for my covers. You see here different experiments. Here, this is to give it. Um, a frame to the background, another another kind of frame. Here I added some dots. You can see that I am adding things, and I got all the all the different scripts in the same notebook, so that I can easily compare them. I don't have them in different files that are dif and difficult to to compare to look for. Um, you may forget them, etc. Instead, you get here and visually uh, up with uh, with P, of course, that is a program to elaborate image. You can have them all here, and so I do different things. For example, with this file, I apply I can apply a filter or 
with this one I apply different dots on the on a background image of a one color and if I wanna to join two PNG together I can do it with this file because in uh, in the main file I just use one PNG I could change that but I'm using that there is some experiment with opacity in another file if I wanna do some um, some modification to the files that I go and uh, and passed here in the main file so I get different um, let me see little programs that help me go to do the this work in this main file I could then after I have um, uh, let's see um, experimented a little bit I can then add these little programs in here in the in the main app so that I can use them uh, right from here but uh, while I'm experimenting I keep them in different files in a modular way to to operate so that is very you know very easy for me to understand wha uh, what I experimented to remember things that I did and and to go and check the things that I need and so that is why uh, Jupyter Lab is so useful to me and can be useful I think for a lot of people and, and is very different from uh, from many other editors I don't think you just have to use just this but you can use this for when it is more useful like in this case when you use images uh, or, you would, or you want to describe your code and, and compare different version of the same code and so on Thank you.